Welcome back to From the Bench, everybody. It's always Derek, and today we're back with my biggest PSA grading reveal ever. Uh, it's 85 cards in total. It's all sports, uh, along with there's some hockey, there's some football, and there's also some Marvel stuff, some 1990 Marvels, and uh, it's also some like newer PMGs. So, gonna get right into it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the whole thing on this. We'll have to see how long the timer's going here, how long I run, but we got the professional grade revealing tool that is apparently worn out. I never noticed that until now, uh, but here we go. I'm gonna start off, got a bunch of different young guns and stuff. A lot of this is series two stuff, but here we go. Jake Neighbors, I was super high. I'm just gonna move this mic a little bit forward. So if you hear a little noise, that's what it was. I was super high, high on Jake Neighbors coming into the season. Uh, there's multiple Jake Neighbors in here. Uh, I think there's four of them in total, uh, but I was pretty high on this guy. And he's been sent down to the AHL uh, for the, essentially, second half of the first half of the season. So, Jake Neighbors. And, okay, we're starting off with a nine. So, we'll put him right in the middle. Hopefully, we got a ten pile, a nine pile. And then, hopefully, those are the only two piles we need. But, um, in the backdrop, before we get on any farther, we got a couple of different things. Once again... This is essentially what we're opening, uh, what we're revealing today. We got some Marvel, we got some uh, football. A lot of the football is PC stuff, but there is some other stuff you'll see later on. And then we got uh, actually got two Nathan McKinney young guns in here too. So uh, Jake Neighbors again. There we go. That's more like it. Gem Mint Ten. So I still think this kid could be pretty good uh, as time goes on, but obviously, I think he started off really well too. I'm pretty sure he started off like super well um but you know then then kind of failed off uh lucas raymond another guy i've kind of gone over this series two from last year so much hype around this draft class so much hype around all of it you'll see a lot of them in here um and pretty much every single one of them has been disappointing this year from their rookie season or you know hl previously but here you go lucas raymond and Okay, nine. These do have a lot of like edge issues. Centering. I guess looking back now, maybe that bottom corner there. But put that in the pile. Hopefully at the end of it. Well, the, the nine pile still isn't higher. Another Lucas Raymond here. Young gun. There we go. That's more like it. Gem mint ten Lucas Raymond. Looking good. Another Lucas Raymond. Once again, like I said, I did multiples of this. Like I said, I opened a lot of series two. Opened a lot of uh, a lot of products. So here you go, Lucas Raymond. There we go, another one. Another Gem Mint 10 of Lucas Raymond. That's that's more like it. I'm, uh, if you can see you sending, I got piles all over here. Uh, thank you to my buddy Will, who uh, I sub all this stuff with. Uh, he he kind of organizes it, packs it for me, everything else, does everything. Uh, so I appreciate uh, all his hard work for all this. So we Dawson Mercer, another guy I was pretty high on. The Devils are a super hot team, even though they cooled off a little bit. But there we go. Dawson Mercer, the newfie boy himself. PSA 10. I'm liking the size of the, I'm liking the the difference in uh in piles here. Uh, another Dawson Mercer. Let's see what we get out of this one. And don't see a G. That's another nine. So there we go. So we're essentially going like one for one for one. Apparently the grader didn't want to give us too many tens of the same cards. There we go. Uh, next up, Mason McTavish. I actually it was pretty good with him so far in a lot of my grading. Uh, like I said, a lot of these, it was cheaper. This is the $18 value submission. This was received from, uh, to them on November 11th. And today is December. It's Tuesday, whatever it is, December 20th, 21st, 20th, I think it is. Uh, so pretty good turnaround overall. It did stick in like QA one for like a week and a half, two weeks. Like it was a long time, but, uh, Mason McTavish, young guns. Okay. Another nine. Must have been maybe an edge issue. It is what it is. So there we go. Mason McTavish was pretty lucky so far with a lot of uh, my Mason McTavishes. So 
Uh, oh no, <laughs> I think this is the run of uh, of Young Guns canvases. So I graded a ton of Young Guns canvases. Uh, I just find canvases usually grade pretty well. Uh, you don't usually have the surface issues. I find the cuts are usually a little better. But here we go, Tanner Janot, big power forward over there for the uh, Natural Predators, and we got a PSA 10 out of it. So there we go. That's pretty good. Tanner Janot. Next up, Niels Hoglander. This guy's kind of fallen, but once again, it's just good to have a lot of this stuff. At the $18 value submission, uh, if I think it's good enough to grade, it's pretty good for me. Uh, but Niels Hoglander, another 10. So there we go. That's, uh, I said, don't really have any attachment to a lot of these guys, but uh, Dylan Cousins for the young Buffalo Sabres team. It's Tage Thompson, all these guys nowadays, they're lighting it up. Dylan Cousins, there we go. Another Gem Mint 10. This is a Dylan Cousins Young Guns canvas. People wonder why great canvases. Pretty good. Uh, Nick Robertson, not Jason Robertson. Jason Robertson's actually the one you want now. It's funny because originally uh, Nick Robertson was the one you were, everybody was chasing. Uh, but here we go, Nick Robertson canvas, another. 10. This is going to be pretty good. I, Depending on how this goes, it could be, be rough to keep it all in. Uh, Peyton Krebs uh, used to be for the Vegas Gold Knights. He was a part of that Jack Eichel trade. But here we got a Young Guns canvas of Peyton Krebs. Another Gem Mint 10. Ow. Oh, kittens on my, on my foot. Uh, Connor McMichael. Uh, I believe he's in the HL. Hasn't played a ton this year. He's one of those guys. Sometimes it's just nice to have him in a slab. I believe this was a crack from an HGA. Pretty sure. Uh, but here we go. Connor McMichael. Mint 9. So I believe this was... Give me two seconds. I'm just going to grab all my slabs. I forgot about that. Yeah, so he was a 9. Forgot about that. I got a couple... Different. I had HGA stuff I cracked. I had a Beckett I cracked. I had uh, another HGA. I had some PSA stuff I cracked. So we'll get into that later on too. But wanted to grab those. But yeah, there's a Connor Michael. Like I said, was a 9 5 in two spots uh, and a 9 for the surface and the centering. Thought it was worth the, worth the chance. So even just to get it out of the HGA slab. For the 18 bucks, it is what it is. Like I said, probably can't sell that for 18 bucks right now, uh, US. But uh, Bowen Byram, been pretty lucky with Bowen Byram so far. And my luck ended. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Mint nine for the Bowen Byram. Uh, next up, I thought maybe this guy might take a little bit of a run this year just with uh, Johnny Gaudreau and with Patrick Liney and all that other stuff over there. But Columbus has been having, I believe, still a pretty rough year. Uh, we got Elvis Merzlikens, Canvas, Young Guns. There we go. Another 10. Young Guns, Canvas. So, uh, next up, we got Jake Bean, Future Watch Auto. Picked this up for pretty cheap. I thought I'd grade it. Let's see what we can get. And it is a 9. I think there's anything really standing out on this one maybe a corner or something i guess maybe that top corner there only thing i think of there we go jake beam uh he's actually now with columbus uh there we go next up is a jack eichel i actually bought this raw at my little card shop a while back uh and i decided to throw it in with the submission so here we go Jack Eichel, Young Guns. There we go. Gem Mint 10. That's a pretty good one. I'm pretty high on Jack Eichel. He's out, he's out right now. He hasn't played the last couple games. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm still pretty high on him. Uh, here we go. We got two Nathan McKinnons. We got one was a BGS 9. So here we go. BGS 9. You can see the subgrades there. I don't know which one this is, but can I get that to you? There you go. 
8.5 on the surface, 9.5 all the way around. I thought maybe just, you know, cleaning it up, maybe I might be able to bump it up to a 10. So we'll check here. Nate. And... No G. No. So there's a PSA 9. So once again, just having it nowadays, having it in, in a PSA 9 compared to a BGS 9, uh, it's probably worth the you know 20 some bucks that I... You know, 25 bucks at Canadian, I think, essentially what it equals out to. So there we go. Uh, another one I had was through here. Uh, this is kind of like my famous one. I've talked about this one a lot, but it is a PSA 8. And essentially it had, I think it was actually that one, uh, but it had a bunch of fingerprints on it. Oh, I forgot to hit the thing up in front. There we go. Another 9. I think this was actually the BGS one. So I think both pretty similar, but... There we go, another PSA 9. So wasn't able, I was actually able to upgrade that from an eight or one of the two from an eight to a nine, uh, but just by cleaning it up, like I said, it had some pretty nasty fingerprints on it. You could see it pretty noticeably uh, on the card through the slab. So cleaned it up, changed it from an eight to a nine. So not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. Once again, for 20 some bucks, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, next up, go this stack. This is, PC card for myself. Usually I do this. Typically, like I'll sell a lot of these cards, uh, but a lot of it's PC. So I'll do like a bunch of stuff to resell, and then I'll add some PC cards in there. That way they're almost like free as long as I did the rest of my job kind of correctly. Uh, but here we go. Gabriel Landeskog, the captain. Uh, Stanley Cup winning captain now. Future Watch Auto. <laughs> there we go. Gem Mint 10 my boy Landy so there we go uh, hasn't played yet this season um, probably play the second half of the season or you know later on but I don't think they're in any rush to get him back you know he just had a long long season so uh, next up this was NHL records this is just a weird one I decided to throw in it Sidney Crosby they're a little bit more of a short print uh, card it's black so I think it's probably gonna be harder to grade but this one was actually pretty clean so we're going to check what we got here on the Sidney Crosby record collection. <laughs> there we go. The PSA 10. Like I said, that's just a weird little insert. But they actually sell pretty good, uh, even raw. So I thought if I could get a 10 out of it, it wouldn't be too bad. Once again, I was lucky enough to do that. So just a fun little, fun little card. Uh, next up, back into some more hockey here. We got Moritz Sider, so he's fallen down some, um, like, like I said, everybody else in this whole Series 2 class, uh, everyone kind of dropped from what they were, uh, just kind of underperformed a little bit, I guess, but Moritz Sider, Canvas, Young Guns, another 10, so there we go, PSA 10, Moritz Sider. Uh, next up, another Canvas, Young Guns, Jamie Drysdale. I think he's still hurt. I uh, got hurt at the start of the season. Young kid over there for the not so good Anaheim Ducks. But we got another 10. So, once again, that's why great canvases. As long as you can kind of, a lot of canvas, I find they're really easy to see. If there's an issue, whitening on a corner, stuff like that. Uh, William Eklund, I was always kind of high on this guy. I thought he played pretty well from what I could see. Uh, but he, I believe he is down in the AHL to start the season. I just did this like a week ago for the last recap uh, of all the young guns, but there we go. Another PSA 10. This one is a William Eklund. This is pretty good. I like the way this pile's looking. Uh, <laughs> uh, next up, Lucas Raymond. Get into him. It's going to be, okay. I think it's our first nine for a canvas. There we go. Lucas Raymond, PSA 9. Uh, another Lucas Raymond, Young Guns Canvas. See if we can pull a 10 out of this one. Let's back onto our canvas luck here. There we go. PSA 10, Lucas Raymond. Uh, next up, Jake Neighbors. There we go. Jake Neighbors. We got. Another 10, once again, 
I'm still pretty high on this kid. I think he could be pretty good going forward. You know, PSA 10 of Jake Neighbors. We're covering up the cards in the background here at this point. Next up, this could be huge. I got three of these in here. Um, it's Cole Caulfield. He's kind of the only guy from Series 2, and it was his Young Guns canvas that was in it that uh, is kind of held value. Not quite even held value, but uh, still worth you know a good chunk of money. But here we go. Cole Caulfield, Young Guns, Canvas. <laughs> there we go. Gem Mint 10. It's a good way to start it off. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Every time I think that's something, and it's actually like a light up in the corner. But there we go. PSA 10, Cole Caulfield. That's a big one. Uh, next up, another Cole Caulfield. Like I said, I got three of these. We got another... PSA 10. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. My, my goal was with the Cole Caulfield was like, I think they've come down. I think they're like 350 or 400. Uh, essentially like getting, depending on once again, what the prices of them, of them are right now. But like that could be like half my order if these just, if these 10. Obviously you got to take into account like what the cost of the car would have been originally when I pulled it and stuff. But uh, here we go. Another one. Third one. Oh yes, uh, Cole Caulfield, another PSA 10 Young Guns canvas. So we went three for three on the Cole Caulfield Young Guns canvases. That's pretty good. Uh, next up, Cole Sillinger. Like I said, just was he? I just recapped him and just highlighted him on my latest uh, video. For some reason, Alexa's talking. Um, I don't know why, but we just did a recap of him on the last video. But here we go, Cole Sillinger. One second. Alexa, stop. I don't know what she was going on. Uh, Cole Sillinger. Oh, no. Oh, no. A surface issue, maybe? Oh no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have oh, I wasn't expecting to have a an eight pile when it came to hockey. Oh no. Try to make it up for it. Here we go. Cole Sillinger number two. Let's get a ten on this one. Make up for it. What did I miss? Maybe, I don't know. I'll look at it another time. That's not good. <laughs> uh, Anton Lundell, actually playing up in the big leagues this year. It's just down from what he was last year for points. Here we go. Young guns for Anton Lundell. Okay, nine. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. Uh, next up. Lundell again. Oh, no. I know I played these ones like kind of fast and quick, but I don't. I know it was like an $18 submission, so I wasn't like super picky. I kind of, if it was half decent, I'd send it. But. I don't, I've never gotten eight when it came to a young gun ever. So weird. Uh, Quinn Byfield, you got two of these, I think. Regular young guns. Man, we're, we're cooling off some. So here we go. Quinn Byfield, still down in the HL right now, I believe. Playing pretty good, but definitely not, uh, not what you expect for a second overall pick. Uh, another Quinn Byfield. Man, this grader was just hard on the regular young guns. <laughs> uh, Hendrix Lapierre. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get back on roll here. Hendrix Lapierre. There we go. Get back on a roll. Hendrix Lapierre for the Washington Capitals. 
Next up, Moritz Cider. So here we go. Once again, has canvas in here. Have one of these. Let's see if we can get Moritz Cider. Young Gun. We are cooling off here. Uh, and then we'll finish off here. Two Jake Neighbors. So what I'll probably do, this is probably going to be a two-part video just because they were 20 minutes in. Uh, so the second half of this video will be the Marvel slash uh, football side of this. So make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, leave a comment with what you kind of think so far uh, from all this. And uh, let me know what, you know, who your favorite one out of all these was. Uh, Jake Neighbors. Man, I guess that top corner, maybe. There we go. I said, this guy's just being a little rough here. Last one to see if I can seal it off here. Jake Neighbors, once again. Gem, 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 gem. No, just mint. Another mint nine, so... Man, I was feeling really good. Feeling really good there. <laughs> the, like the first half, this pile was down here. This pile was up here. That pile didn't exist. Um, but yeah, so like I said, make sure you like and subscribe uh, tomorrow, probably. Most of what I'll probably do. Release this one today. Tomorrow, I'll have another video. Like I said, there's some football stuff. There's some Marvel stuff. I've got a bunch of different stuff in this submission still left to reveal. So hopefully you guys like this. And for Eric, it's on the bench. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.